Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're continuing our container planting for the community here. Yes, and on this one we're going to, on this video we're going to go ahead and do two types of containers. Yep. Um, just like on the past one. And this time we're using salvias on both um, containers. Yep. Um, I think I just love salvia a lot because oh, yeah. um, that's what I wanted to talk about. I love salvia a lot because there is just there's more varieties uh, in colors of salvias, and I love to use them a lot as a main plant in the thriller. Yeah. And honestly, you can just put one in the container, and you you can just be done with that. Yeah, they grow quite quite big. And this variety that proven winners have too that it, it's one of the ones that actually got me really excited. Yes. Back to um, bring salvias into our garden because the flowers are just so much bigger they have a lot more color and the foliage is just so much prettier yeah definitely beautiful foliage i know one of the salvias we ever tried uh i can't remember what the name was it was an older variety but it attracted a lot of mealybugs you remember that yes Yes, it, it was another variety. I can't remember either, but they were really straggly, and yeah. it, it really didn't give a show, and it didn't continue to give flower through the whole season. And these guys are, they just, they're, they're like monsters out in the yeah. garden. They can give you, they flower and flower and flower all season long from planting yep. all the way to frost. Um, now, the, the salvias are um, annuals in our gardening zone yep. 7A. But they are um, perennials on uh, from nine up. Um, funny thing though is that we have been we we've had um, some that have made it here. Yes. It depends on our winters. Okay, so let's get going. On this one, we right. have one container that we're only going to do. Um, but we're putting a lot of pretty in there, and I, I want color. Yeah. I want it color yeah, this year. So let's go ahead and fill up the container. Okay. With the soil, the potting soil. So as Ambrose is finishing putting in there the potting soil, one thing to know is to make sure to look for good quality soil for your containers. Um, we love to use Espoma Organic yep. because it keeps the, the, the potting soil nice and moist, but not to the point where the soil is soggy and wet and you know that can cause a root rot. Yeah, it's definitely. just perfect for the, for the containers. Oh, yeah. So now we can go ahead and continue to um, fertilize. Yep, so the next thing we're gonna use is a continuous slow release fertilizer that feeds your plants over about a six month time frame. So it's a good fertilizer. It breaks down with heat and humidity, like I said, for over six months. So we're gonna do four tablespoons in here because of the size of the container. And you can get, at, you can get all that information on the back of the uh, container there as well. We mix it in. Yep. You wanna go ahead and do the first plant? Yep, so the first plant, like Angie said, is the salvia. This one is called Rockin' Fuchsia. Uh, love the color on this one. So on this one, we were going back and forth. Should we put it in the center, which you really could. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the back because this, this container is going to be um, put right by a, a, a what is it called? A, a wall yes. in the front of the home. So I think it will be better to have it like that and just let all the plants be seen in the front. Yeah, I know it'll spread out quite a bit. Um, I believe this one gets 24 so to 36 inches tall. And you can spread a good actually 24 inches or 18 inches that so is it's, a it's a good size very pretty color yep okay and then we're using super bean red yes super we bean saw red. that one on the last on the on the first containers that we that yep. we started doing um, um for this season too we used them we used that super bean red we did which yeah. is very pretty too very um vibrant colors okay and i'm gonna go ahead and start with um, Laguna Sky Blue. And this one does look like it has the roots a little bit there. Yeah, so this Laguna Sky Blue is Tight, a, so. it's a lobelia that grows about 8 to 10 inches tall. And it's a mounding plant. And it, it'll bloom all the way to frost. This is a, this, oh, that's pretty. this lobelia here, like most lobelias, um, doesn't fizzle out when it gets really, really hot. This is supposed to do extremely well in the heat. And unless the temperatures are above 75 to 80 degrees at night, then it should flower for you all the way till frost. So very excited Gorgeous. to use this one because it's a very dainty blue flower that we don't normally use, but I think it's going to mix really, really well with everything we have in here. And then a favorite of mine in the garden is Diamond Frost. Yeah. I just love Diamond Frost Euphorbia in the home. And I could have ended it with the three plants. It would have been perfect, just three, but yeah. I want to add that little bit of white in a smaller flower. Oh yeah, definitely. Kind of give a, a patriotic kind of feel. Yeah. But yeah. not with the the actual, well, it kind of is. You have your red, yeah, you have mean, your blue. We are going to have the red, white, and blue, and then that fuchsia here. So it's still going to be a patriotic color, color, which is something we kind of, we don't 
purposely intend to do it, I think, but it kind of ends up that way being... Uh, I, I like to do it. I yeah. do like to do it. I, I try to act, uh, um, um, add in a little bit of the patriotic color, yeah. colors. Here on, on, what do you call it, for our base, um, the family's living here on the military base. All right, so... It just looks beautiful for summer. Oh, definitely. Too. So that's it for our first that's container. It. I uh, absolutely love the way it looks. What do you Look think? Look at that. I love it. I think it's going to have enough room for this. This one right here, the the, the Salvia to grow yeah. really pretty. The Rockin', what is it, Fuchsia? Fuchsia. Fuchsia. It's Rockin' Fuchsia. You get that name. Yep, Rockin' Fuchsia I Salvia. It. Okay. It's going to be really fun watching this one grow. Yep. So let's move on to the next containers. We actually have two containers that we're going to do uh, for the next family. So moving on to our next containers, we're actually going to do two here. And I just put the soil in there. One thing I did want to mention about putting soil in your containers is to leave maybe an inch to an inch and a half of lip room here around the container because when you start to put your soil in, sometimes you're going to get it to sink really, really low once it gets wet, or sometimes it may overflow depending on how much water you are in it, especially with small, some smaller containers. They may fill up very, very quickly with water and you don't want any of that soil to start flowing out and then that's going to expose the roots to your plants. That's a good tip. Yep. So we're continuing with these and we're going to plant, like I said, another salvia. This one's called Rocking Blue Shoes. Blue Suede Shoes. Blue Suede Shoes, which um, we've also used before. Yes, absolutely love the color to this Beautiful. one. Beautiful. It's got a really, you, it's not really blooming yet, um, but it's got a really dark purple. And then the actual flower that comes out of these, I, I don't even know what to call them. I, I looked it's, that up it's later. It's really, really, But the flower that really comes out blue. is like a beautiful blue color. Yes. So why, why you know, why do we love using, once again, the salvia in the garden? It causes a lot of the pollinators over. Ooh, yes. These need to be tickled. These roots need to be tickled bad. Yeah. Usually we don't do this with plants, you know, that we're um, just planting. But these, for some reason, do need it. Um, but like I was saying about the salvias, the good thing is, you know, that they're always blooming, continuously blooming, these the, these varieties, and it invites a lot of the pollinators. One pollinator you're going to see a lot that loves it is the hummingbirds. Yes. But it also invites the butterflies and the bees, and, and you know, you'll see, you know, all types of, of um, pollinators coming over your way. And then when the, the nice thing we were saying about the flower, once the flower is done blooming, yep. it actually still looks pretty. Yep. You know, the stem which, with, with the flower that, you know, it's done, it still looks pretty yeah. um, afterwards. So, I, and they deadhead on yeah, their definitely. own, too. Yeah, I love the foliage on this obvious as well. It's a very nice, dark green foliage. It is. Just like the other one we used, um, the foliage looks absolutely beautiful once these flowers are gone. But once it starts to flower, you're just going to get nothing but endless flowers all the way till frost. So it's going to be one of those plants. I wish they were flying right now, and we we're going to yeah. wait, but we're just going to go ahead and do it so we can get going, you know, and they'll start flowering pretty soon. Um what do you have next oh. here? And you know, one that just takes me back home. Yeah. Lantana, and this one is called um, um, Luscious um, Citrus. Yeah. So this one is Luscious Citrus Blend. Uh, so beautiful Lantana. I absolutely just love Lantana. I forgot that it has a scent, and I could smell something yeah. right now, and it's it's the Lantana. Yeah, it's got, it's got a very light scent. Uh, the reason we love Lantana, I know Angie loves it too, is because this is one of those plants that back home. In San Antonio, it's a native, specifically the very bright yellow one. Yeah, it's a perennial. Uh, I just, you see it everywhere. It's a weed. Um, <laughs> I remember this growing up. We have, you know, back in the day, we have the old chain link fences to our homes. Yes. Which surrounded our yard. That's what we had when we were growing up. And these would absolutely crawl up that chain link fence and absolutely cover it all. So I think to this day, my mom's... Front yes, yard they still, still have it in the front. A lantana as yellow as can be, just crawling up that fence there. So it's and a yours is plant. blooming more, so yeah. that is so pretty. It has like a dark orange and then it, yes. light, it, it comes into a light one and we've used so many types in our gar um, in our garden um luscious, luscious marmalade i think and then there's one i can't remember the other one but it has pink and it has yep. yellow together and um i wish this one was blooming and it's not if you really really it, one thing that is hard to find is blue true blue flowers and this one right here is blue my mind yes how I love Bloom My Mind. It's a, I can't say it right, evolvulus plant. Yep. 
And this guy loves the heat. So if you live in a very hot climate, this one is good. This so, full sun, hot climate. I don't know if I even said this is all for full sun too. Yes, yes. This is uh, so the Valvulus is actually not in. A, if you don't have it in a container, you can actually put this one in the landscape, and it's a very oh, drought so tolerant pretty. plant as well that yeah. loves the heat. Uh, you'll see those flowers open and close throughout the day. It's just absolutely amazing. I have a photo that I can show. Very exaggerated when I edit it, but because I love the flower so much, I'll put that on there so you guys can actually see that one because yeah. I just love the way that flower It's a looks. beautiful ground cover. It's a very lovely ground cover because the, the leaves are more like of a gray, gray, yes. blue kind of, yep. I don't know. It just has a very pretty color. So there you go. Yeah. I think it is, you know, like I said, I wish it was flowering, but we will be showing you ahead of, you know, yeah. in the future. Once they start to, you know, uh, flower for, for, you know, for who we're going to um, um, give these to, yep. we'll be showing how they look. And I really am excited for this one. Yeah, so I, I don't think, it, uh, did you touch on the whole three-plant container thing we were talking about? Oh, yeah. So, so in the past we were doing... Yeah, the, we were doing the three-plant containers. We started that off two years ago. Um, and last year we continued with the three-plant container. But for this one, I think this is the only one we're doing three plants in, huh? Yes. Uh, we we kind of did a little bit more plants in the other containers. And the original reason for starting with three plants was to show that you can have a beautiful container with just three plants. You don't um, need to have a no. lot of plants in a container. And like I said in the beginning, honestly, you could just do one in a size like this and it'll grow. Yep. It'll fill out the container. You can just do two and it'll grow the container, yes. you know, until the container still look pretty. Um, but, you know, if you want more texture, different size of, of flowers, you know, yep. This is a nice combination, um, but it's just very easy to go ahead and put a container together, and you don't really need to have the whole no, the whole not. thriller thing either. You could just do like just mounding plants. Yeah, to a, it. a container of mounding plants looks just as beautiful as a container that's growing upright, and you know, and that's evident by a lot of the uh, recipes that you see throughout different websites, especially pre winter's plants. Especially when you get plants like this that are of this quality, you can do three plants and have there's, a beautiful There's container. no wrong way yep. of doing, you know, putting something together for containers. So, Yep, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love this combination. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Yep. Uh, give this channel a subscribe because we will be doing updates on these containers, showing you guys what they're going to look like throughout the season. We have a lot more containers this year we than have, we did last um, year. We have, I think, two Two more to go for, yep. for the project that we're doing for the community. Yeah. And then we'll start planting our containers. Yep. So, again, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.